All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our unregular enhancing session. So, and if you haven't caught up with the last video, what we did was get the Black Star Lance weapon on our seasonal, and we're going to be enhancing it today. Uh, we did a little bit of a challenge in the quest line. We tried to do it with the lowest amount of AP, and the recommended was 260, and we were definitely not at that. But anyway, I did a little bit of preparing, and basically we're going to be enhancing it and hoping for the best. So, for everyone who is wondering, how do I go about fail stacking? Well, Black Star is a little bit different because it does not work the same way as boss gear does. Well, it does, but like, you use different stacks and we have a lot of stacks to burn. So, you guys are wondering, how do you enhance Black Star? This is how I do it. So usually, here's how I calculate things. Uh, I think Black Star is a bad example of how we do it. But if you are enhancing boss gear, you look at the force and you see how much, like, what it would cost in terms of uh, concentrated and how much it would cost in terms of durability. So what that means is for regular boss gear, it's only, um, I think, 5 or 10. And then you calculate how much that would cost in terms of memory fragments. So like 3 mil times durability. And that's how much you would think to spend in terms of silver per thing. And then you would wonder how much it would cost to make a fail stack. So take the price of how much it would cost to force. And then the cost of using the fail stack that you do and then think, is it worth doing it? And on average, for example, like this would do two clicks. If I fail two clicks, it would have been better to force. But if it didn't, then you obviously it's better. So in my case, what I'm going to do is something a little bit different because I would rather save more in durability because I don't have as many uh, mem frags compared to like I can just get black stones easily. So what we're going to be doing is, you know, a little bit of fail stacking and then hoping for more of the best. All right. So we see this one. I'm going to use this as a baseline. So starting at plus eight, that's like a four or no plus eight and using a 13 stack is 46%. It's not bad, but I think I would rather use like a 15 stack and over 50 50 makes me feel better. That's probably just some sort of like it doesn't even matter, but <laughs> I I don't know. Hold on. Let me just let me get this 13 stack out of the way some somewhere. Okay, cool. Okay, two clicks on that one. Not bad. Just wanted to get that 13 stack out. Um, so from 10 on, you use at least a 30. So. Yeah, I think from 11 and up, you start using 40s. Because... It the rate is so low, so to give you an example, let's look at the force. On average, they expect you to use 60 durability or 11 concentrated. 60 durability is like, uh, I think it's six clicks on average. So you want to get the thing in under six clicks to make it better than forcing it. So in theory, one in three with a 40 stack is better than one in six. Obviously, you make the 40 stack, and that's the problem, but... See how, like, my brain figures things out? That's one in five. And what would the force be? Seven attempts. So in theory, doing it on a 40 stack in a one in five chance is better than forcing it for a one in seven. Or, like, seven clicks, anyway. Uh, 
13 to 15 is where things feel like pain, so... I believe you use 50 and up starting there. This is a 1 in 6. 13 to 15, like, the rules kind of just go out the window because of that, but... In theory, just 1 in 6 is better than 1 in 8. Or we could just one-tap it. That's good, too. I like that. Um... 14 and 15, you kind of, like, it's it's hard to say, but you use at least 50 on a 14 and 15. So let's see, what is the force? Force would be 10 clicks. 10 clicks plus 36 concentrated, which is not good. You don't do that. Okay. So we made it to... Plus 15 relatively painlessly because enhancing is a struggle so what we're gonna do is repair a little bit and then i'll show you how to I go about doing pride detect oh i forgot the mem frags uh just pull out like 300 of these Let me buy four of these real quick, just so I don't... So I don't accidentally click anything weird and make sure I'm not doing that. Okay. So. Um, 15 to pry. I believe you just use like a anything over like 20 is fine okay try to duo try to duo I use 30 and up or I start at 30 and then go so that's like 44 percent it's almost 50 it's not bad duo to try is like Think of it, if you are enhancing boss gear, it would be... Black Star is always one tier different. So, for example, if we were talking about boss gear and armor, this would be like going from try to Tet, right? So what we do is... I You could start at 50 or 60. I personally like starting at 60 for duo to try. And we go from there. So, repeat the pattern until it goes up. And then this is, you're probably wondering, okay, you understand. But then enhancing Black Star is actually not as easy as it sounds. It's actually very difficult unless you one tap everything. game does not want to go give us pry or duo holy that is not good the game was like we gave you pry very easily now your rng is just going down the drain when it actually matters um i feel like i should probably save that we'll start over with the 30. I think we just failed like 11 in a row. Uh. I have a lot of extras, but I wouldn't really recommend doing this. Like, I don't enhance enough to the point where I would actually use it, but for your average person, I just wouldn't recommend. game be like yeah we're balancing your rng now you got lucky get wrecked on the hard parts
Holy dude, can I please just get a try? All right, try to tet, obviously, what everyone is aiming for. Now, the problem is, we all know the new gloves are coming out soon, right? Like, the new Dan's gloves, I think is what it's called. Let me see what stacks I have. Um, I have a few 200s. Cool. That's a very high for a tet. 75, 60s. Oh. Got a 157. We're gonna use the 157. That makes sense. Also, for the record, it's not really worth croning duo to try and then raw tapping it from try to tet. It's a hundred crons. But it's not really that difficult. For me, it's difficult. For, like, your average player, it's not worth crowning. Okay, so you guys want to know how I built this 157 stack? It's a funny story. We failed... A lot of <laughs> Pentrina axes. Remember, I made a video of that too. And we were unironically trying to go for a Pentrina axe. And those are those can't be croned. So. Now we have a 157. You know, that would have been nice to... If we just one-tapped it and made this like the shortest zero to tet ever done that would have been pretty cool also i think we're getting close to enough cron stones to be able to uh cron tap a pendisto i think that one's like 7500 what 7200 game is like no <laughs> we don't want you getting tet today or try honestly i really wish they would move in the dars band to the side like over here just put in a little box or maybe on top of it because it really covers up these three critical buttons. Feels so gross. No skip. 8.7. Okay, so remember when the Nadar's band had like a 10 minute timer when you used anything above 100, right? They lowered that to 30 seconds. But why is it still 30 seconds? It should be like 10 seconds, just so you don't like accidental click and do something weird. But 30 is kind of high. See, now we're going to get another 30 seconds because we had to do that. 9%. Bro, just go. <laughs> now we have 15 seconds to spare. Guess I'll go repair it while we while we have downtime.
Okay, it's at pry again. It's used to 34. Some honestly, failing pry to duo hurts the most. I could just go like clicking anything else, no problem. But man, pry to duo fails. It's, it feels pain. Also, not being able to get try also pain. I feel more excited when it goes pry to duo than it does try to pet. <laughs> As bad as that sounds. Oh my god. I don't want more 100 stacks, please, game. Make it stop. I don't need any more 100 stacks. That didn't feel too good. 90 on try? Like, yeah, that didn't feel so good. You know what? We only need one. Just get it right now and just, just don't fail. How to make a 200 stack tutorial by John EZ Game. There are unironically people that think massive pure magics are worth like 50 mil each. That's a joke. Are there any more pet debos being sold? I tried um, putting an order and trying to win that debo. It didn't happen. Feels bad. I wonder if we can... What was the last time? Oh, a belt sold. That would actually be an upgrade for me. But it's not like a high priority upgrade. <laughs> Dude, why can't I just get more free tries? I know I used a 40 on that one. Sometimes you just have to think it's over 50%. It either goes or it doesn't. I didn't feel that good either. Thirty second timer. Might as well not skip the animation if we're gonna have to sit through this anyway. Well, that that, that feels bad. I might actually have to buy some memfrags off the market. Oh no. <laughs> How much are they? Oh, they're sold out. Well, this might be a short video, but like, we actually have... We actually have these scrolls because I grind history, so I just, I might have to go run these. It's not going to feel great. I don't like running these, but I have to keep up these enhancing videos okay duo to try use a 70 free
dude. Free. I hate, dude, failing these 50s and 60% feels actual awful. Let me see if I could put an order on. I could just run these scrolls, but I'm going to just put an order on right now. Another hundred. Hopefully they fill because <laughs> I don't want to run scrolls. I don't want a hundred stack. Give it to someone else. Uh oh. Did we really just go through 30 of those already? Woo. Dude, we are speedrun lighting silver on fire. Let's actually look at this. Okay, so we got one... Wait, we start... Okay, let, let me just calculate this. So we are... What is it? 180... Okay, so 182. So we started at 157, 162, 167, and then another... So, okay, so we had six head attempts in... We made another hundred stack. That doesn't feel good. Build more 50 50s. Uh, we got 15. Yeah, I'm going to have to run scrolls later. We should actually just start a new stack. Like, not even joking. It feels really awful to make 100 stacks. Are we about to make another one? Like straight up. Dude, we can't get try. This is why we don't enhance much. <laughs> and this is why I'm scared to click big things like Pendistos and and Debos. We're about to make another 100 stack. Holy dude. It didn't feel too good. Out number seven. Buying memfrags doesn't feel good either. <laughs>
Enhancing is fun, they said. Temp number eight, ten percent. I think it's still worth going even up to like two ten. Nice downtime. But yeah, I think according to calculations, if you can sell a black star for like one hundred and fifty billion or one hundred and fifty billion for pen and 14 for Tet. Going up to like 210 is probably the safe spot. And then after that, you kind of don't want to do that again. Might want to restart after that. Oh boy, another 30 second cooldown. Camp number nine. I've been playing this game for seven years, and I think a lot of you guys can share the same emotions I do. And when you guys enhance and you finally hit that item, it's you're not really happy that you got the... I mean, you are happy you got it, but it's more of a feeling of relief that it's done kind of thing, right? I, I don't know if I explained that correctly, but it's just like you're happy more that you don't have to enhance anymore than it is that you got the item, right? So that's how I feel right now. I guess I don't have to buy anymore. Cancel all these. That says 15.8 billion, but we looked at this earlier and it is hard minimumed. Well, that's cool. I think I'm done for today. That was stressful. I'm gonna go make some food. I will see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching.